First tonight, new youth sports restrictions. One of the efforts made by Rhode Island officials to slow the spread of COVID-19. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kaluni. And the health department says in the last three months, about 100 cases have been linked to youth sports in some fashion, leading to more than 900 people having to quarantine. The governor says starting on Monday, indoor sports facilities will have to shut down for one week, while spectators will have to stay home during all games for the next two weeks. 12 News reporter Sheena Lasciuto spoke to a parent and some hockey players who say they hope this is truly only temporary. The governor says she wants sports to continue, but if you want that, things have to change, which is why she says she has to put the restrictions in right now. When their skates hit the ice or the puck drops, it's almost as if life is normal again for these two hockey players. It's just like a getaway, I guess, from being like cooped up all day. Harrison is in the classroom part time for a hybrid model this year while Danny is learning from home. I can only control what I can control and um, do the best to stay healthy and stay positive. They say being at the ice rink lately has meant everything. So the news from the governor wasn't easy. At this point, a third of the youth sports cases that we've seen in Rhode Island have all been associated with hockey. So effective Monday, we will be closing all ice rinks and indoor sports facilities for one week. I think everyone that I see follows the rules of the rink. Frustrating the teens who say their league is doing everything right. Just training. It's going to change a little bit for a week. I'll be training at home. But other than that, hopefully next two weeks we'll be back on the ice here. Yeah. But according to the state, too many cases have been linked to youth sporting events, which is why the governor says you can't go watch them either. And I really want to allow these kids to finish their season. So one way to do that is for us to not go be spectators. So starting today for the next two weeks for kids sports, um, no spectators. One hockey mom is questioning both restrictions, saying it's not fair to the kids, especially when things like casinos are still open. Indoor sports is their only outlet, especially for a lot of the kids that are homeschooling right now or doing the virtual schooling. This is their only outlet. So you want to talk about mental health. These kids are losing everything repeatedly. And now for a second time, how much more are they supposed to take? Now, why close the indoor facilities for one week? The governor says the state will work with the different places like ice rinks to come up with new protocol and regulations to help stem the spread. Reporting in the control room, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.